Hello and welcome fellow Spartans to part 3 of my Massilia campaign for Total War Room 2. Sorry this has not been out um, a bit early in the week, it should have been. I've done it on today, Saturday, and uploaded it today instead to compensate for the fact it didn't come out earlier in the week. Uh, but you will be getting it back regularly again, regularly I should say, next week going forward. So uh, we're back, part 3. Now people have said where do we go next, I've said where do we go next. I think obviously the Ardvernia are going to have to be looked at 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 some point very soon because they could be a real threat to me and a lot of people have said that it could be so we probably need to take on the Ardaverni as well but I'm going to go for the Etruscan League on this episode I want to take the island of Alia I want to take the Etruscan League down I think that should be them gone once they've been destroyed at Alia obviously again it'll help my relations with Rome which is what I want to do and yeah I think that's a wise decision as we are quite close to them we can get to them within a couple of turns so we're just going to build up this army probably Hire a couple of mercenaries, get the spy to whittle them down as well, and then hopefully that should be enough to take them out. So we'll end, we'll end the turn, because nothing else we can do. Can we actually do anything with this army? We can hire a couple of levy freemen. I want to just hire one more, just to make sure tensions don't go too out of hand over at Genoa. Uh, but everything else is, is looking okay. We aren't at war with anyone, so we can hopefully be in a position where we can choose where we go next. However, if you see my Lusitani Let's Play, I said those exact words in that last episode, and then literally about five seconds later, the Alavachi declared war on me. So you never know what's coming on this campaign, or these campaigns. But let's just see if we can talk to some people. Greetings! I read you would like an aggression with you for the moment, but you're not going to give it to me, are you? No. Dan Mattier. I just want to basically go through all of them, just to see if I can get anything with any of them. We are steadfast, so our, you know, our diplomacy isn't a problem. Our rating of, of that, basically. Oh, we've not. We've cancelled. We don't want to. We don't want to cancel an aggression. We've already got it with him. Good. They won't want to trade with us yet, though. The Veneti, they're happy with us. Not aggression as well. Oh, trade as well is high. Demand payment from it then. No, that's not going to be too much, is it? What about 500 gold then? Will you take that? No, you won't even take that. So we'll have to just do trade with you. Anyway. Good. So even more trade then. Well met, friend. No. No. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's end the turn then, guys. See what happens. And we'll take it from there. So Etrusca, not Etrusca, Epirus over at Apollina still holding their own. Quite a substantial force over there now. Oh, there's a, there's a, oh, there's a naval fleet of the Etruscan leagues. There's two naval fleets, so there isn't... So there's more to them than meets the eye. They're not out, out of the... Um, we're not out of the woods with them yet. They're still standing. So... They aren't all down and out yet. Let's bring this army across. I'm going to bring them across. Oh, hang on. Well, that's not much, is it? Uh, let's just get this spy to whittle them down, actually. Poison the whales, come on. Please work. Oh, you stupid woman. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe that. I just really need you to do that then, you silly mare. Okay, um, never mind. Ooh, you see, do we wait and get the barracks or do we just go now while the timing's probably easier and get, and get some mercenaries on the way? Because we can't really wait for much longer. We can't procrastinate. Ooh, I think we're going to have to go for a couple of them. A couple of them and just hire them now and go with set sail. Oh, no. Force row them, I tell you. So next turn they are will be in range to attack. The city, hopefully. We'll take them out of Forge Road before we do it. And hopefully then it should be okay. Oh, we've got minus nine now here. What's the problems? Events is minus three. That's probably because of the winter. Cultural differences. And... Oh, okay. So I didn't realise, of course, yeah, cultural differences is still a problem because Tolosa is still... a different type of culture to us, isn't it? So it is 75% Hellenic, but 25% of that is Celtic, so they're going to be having their... The influence on the region, so we'll have to deal with that probably. In some way. Oh, right, okay. Together, our armies could be no, because that will that will pee off. That will pee might. off even more the Romans, which we don't want to do. So we'll leave you to fight your own battles with Rome. We're not getting involved in that one. Okay, 
Right, research complete. Oh, they have brought an army back, but it's in force march. We're still in range to attack the city. Let's take them off the shore. Oh no, we can't do it this time. That this time or turn. Balls. Well, we're gonna have to go for some mercenary Italian spearmen and cavalry. In fact, no, we'll do it next turn when we've got a little bit more income. Um, yeah, go for that one. These are nearly replenished, which is great, so they can stand strong in January. They've gone down to minus two now. Um, I need, I need those, those, I need both those, and I need that villa. So I can't really dismantle anything yet to get a temple built in this place. It's going to have to hold out for a bit. Unfortunately, that city or that province. So hopefully, hopefully it can. Right, Rome. Oh, could you come and help with this battle, please? That'd be most grateful. Let's see what the Etruscan League do now. Oh, they brought another army back. Oh, guys, this is going to be a tough battle. Tough, tough battle. Agent recovered. You're over there, though, aren't you? Okay, let's have a look what they've got. They've got six guys units. They've got three there. Four there. Oh god, this could be. Ready for this could be too much to take on, I think, now. I'll leave the units there for the moment, just in case, and we'll just raid off the land. Your next command. Take what you can. That'll pay him off. Wow. And it gives the Romans probably time to break off and hit us there if they can. And maybe we can. Sweep in and take the city if, if if Rome are in the sort of area in the sort of you know the area of influence would able be able to attack with me maybe I don't know I don't know we're gonna have to wait and see with that one holder and bide our time so let's go for another end turn very quickly oh I've Rome gone the other way now I think they have you know well they've taken no out the Etruscan leaders have moved one fleet away. Okay. Alliance Forge, Sasquani and Halvetti. Trait report. So what have they got now then? Six units there. Six units in the garrison. And then four units there. Okay, we're gonna go for it. No, we need we need cavalry more than anything. We need cav. We need cav. Can I afford to recruit? Oh, right. Okay, we can only go for one then. Okay, sorry. I'm getting a bit uh, stupid here. Right, okay. Let's go off raiding stance. Let's go for it. Declare war the good old fashioned way. This is a big risky move, this is, guys, but I think we could pull it off. I am sure you have many pleasantries for me, but please. Cancel on aggression. And the trade with them. Oh, traders will look else. oh you're really pissing them off now. Oh, no. Not an aggression. Men, okay. Oh my god, this is going to be difficult. But we should be okay. I think we can do this. Come on, let's fight the battle. And hopefully the fall of the Etruscan League and Alia will be ours. I hope. Let's hope the Ballista make the, uh, the difference with this one. They've got, they haven't got, they've got a few pleb units, a couple of levy units as well, so not, not majorly a problem to me. So I just have to see how it works out, really. I think the ballistas need to be used, and the cavalry they need to be used effectively as well. If you can use those two units or set of units effectively, then we should be okay. The weather's good. The weather's very good. And I'm going to go up here. Position them in the centre. And all we've got is Celtic Warriors for this one. We haven't got any Hoplites at all. So, hopefully they can hold. We've got some spear units of Italian spearmen. And then the uh, spears, skirmishers in front there. The cavalry can go on the right hand side. And then 
I'm blessed obviously behind. So here we go. Let's move in, let's move in, move in, move in. It looks like the sunning out to us done its way here, so let's get the ballista ready. I know, I know, I know. You're in range, you're in range, you're in range. Fire, 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 fire. Okay, come on. Go there. Lancers and cavalry go over to the right a little bit more. Look at this now, the auto resolve before the battle was way out of our favour. Now it's pretty much 50-50 in terms of balance of powers, so it's surprising when you fight these battles actually, the difference it can provide. Bring these guys forward a little bit. Oh, great shot into the cavalry unit there. They've only taken one unit down now. One man down. Okay, okay, go, go again, go again. Give them a volley, give them a volley. Alright, pull back. Let's get the Celtic Warriors and Italian Spearmen to go forward a bit. Cavalry move in. That's it, Ballista, keep covering me with the fire you're doing. Wonderful. Okay, great stuff. Uh, hold here, hold here. Right, cavalry, get yourselves ready. You're going to go for a charge in a second. Come on, hold this line. Go for it. Go for it with the light horse. Or the Italian cavalry, go for a charge. Oh, that's nice. That's really hit him hard in that side. Pull him out, pull him out, pull him out, pull him out. It. Thank you. Nicely done. Nicely done. I don't think we lost a unit, unit, a single man there in that unit. Well, we've lost a few now. But thank God we're holding strong. And of course, these Caldic Warriors have got the use of javelin throw as well, so they've been able to fire even though they're not fighting at the moment. Oh, we've got units over here. God, I didn't realise these are there. Take them out now. Take them out right now. Well, they've done a good job. The blister's done a good job there. Well done. Was it, is it the blister of using all ammunition? Oh no, it's one of the Cali Warriors. So we've still got blister fire. Great. That's the general. Etruscan sword infantry. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, let him let him let him engage and then we'll flank him with our, our cavalry. Right, pull off our Italian infantry. Let the general take out and finish off those skirmishes. We'll take the Italian cavalry to engage the general. Because that way we don't risk our general from been destroyed and that could surely be the end of the battle then if he gets killed what are they doing let's pin him in let's stop them stop them being able to move around the battlefield and let's pin the general down let's go for it come on let's go for a charge now that we've got him pinned down okay 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 go 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 got a clear one at him we got a clear one at him not really but go for it Right, pull out. These guys sweep around this side. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, let's go around the back here. Go around, go around, go around. Tank cavalry gun hit his levy slingers. Go, go, go. Oh, hello. Pull the Italian spearman back then. In that case. Okay, we've done well there. We have enveloped the general a little bit here. Which is good. Wonderful. So now they're waving pull out because they have got some who have they got there, the spearmen. We don't want to engage with their spearmen with our calves, so pull out the cavalry now. Go for the charge against the general again. Go, 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 go. That's it. Wonderful. We've got him surrounded now. 
Bring those across to hit the Italian Speedman over there. How are we doing over here? We still... God almighty, are these guys not even falling yet? It's... Seriously, pull them out then! Oh my god! How are those skirmishers holding off against our Happy Ace Lancers? Jesus Christ. Right, pull them back. Get the Celtic Warriors to go in to replace them. Okay, how are we doing with the general here? Is he going yet? Is he wavering? He's not wavering, but he's really shaken. Pull off with these guys, trying to intercept these skirmishers. Who are these? Italian cover there, sort of pushing off. Lance has come back. Where the skirmishers gone? All these around here to try and just round about here with them just so they can really s hit and surround them a bit easier. Right, go, 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 go. How do you get into the mix of them now? Come on! Now they've wavered. Well, now the wavering. That's the skirmish is gone. General's wavering. I haven't won it yet though. There's Italian cavalry off here that are confident, so must be there's some more units over here. Oh my god, there is. Oh my god, there is. We haven't finished this battle yet, ladies and gentlemen. We're still in for a fight here. The enemy general is oh, but that's going to make a massive difference though. Let's, let's rush the city now. Let's rush the city while we've got the chance to. Come on. Let's get in there, guys. We want to try and get into that center that's there, there, hold it, and then that gives us a better chance for dealing with these guys that are coming from the boats. Come on, come on. Get another volley. Oh, I could get a, I could get a good charge and give them a volley at the same time. You didn't know, but they're wavering. Even better. Drag them through. In fact, the general's dad would have really hurt them though now. The confidence must be very low, knowing that uh, they uh, have lost their main man, and the city is falling. The city is falling. Wonderful. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Right, we've got the town centre now. Right, here they go. Here they come. Italian spearmen. So let's push our units a bit further. No, we're going to say push them forward. But let's go, yeah, let's go down this alleyway, box them in here. Get the cavalry to sweep around. Oh, no, who's this guy? These bloody levy skirmishers again. Right, they've broken at last. Right, pull the cavalry around this way. Oh, no, no, General, 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 General. Don't, don't go that way. Bloody hell. Go this way, thank you. My God, you want to have a death wish? Let's get the skirmishers in. Have to finish their ammunition now, so we may as well use them to hold the line here. Where are these guys gone? Get back over here, you slackers! It's all right, it's all right. Don't worry. Well, I've got the Italian cavalry and the Hippias lancers to come round here now. Once they've gone into the charge into the back of them, that should be a game over then. Come on, come on, come on. Hopefully our units coming around the back of them and from our side as well will hopefully hope it will hopefully help these two to regroup and not lose too much more morale. Here comes the calf. Boom. Wonderful. Okay, right, where's the Hippias Lancers? Here they come. They're holding out for much longer now, these, these uh, battles, these AI factions. You know, they're not dropping and wavering as quick as they used to. So, yeah, these are more epic, long-scale battles than they used to be. They're fighting for their country and their lands and their livelihood is at stake today. The battle is turning in our favour. It is turning in our favour indeed. There's some more wavering occurring now. Wonderful. Are these guys going to give up or are they going to fight on? Oh, I think they're going to fight on and trying to choose where they're going to beach. That's a problem. 
Ah, oh, come on, guys. You should know it's all over. Let's welcome you to the party, though. Where are they going? Where are they going? They're going up this way, are they, now? I don't know where they're going to beach. Okay, let's bring our cavalry and remaining units across. What they got? What they got? Italian Spearman. Italian Spearman. Yeah, as long as we pin him down at the front with our Caldic Warriors, then we can charge him in the rear again with the cavalry and should be fine. Okay, they've chosen their landing point. You will indeed. Move in, move in, move in. Cavalry, that's it. Go on to his left hand side there. Run, Gersh, you run, my friends. I think these cats, is the Italian spearmen, are sitting back because they feel guilty now that, that they're killing their own men, essentially, because they're, 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 they're their own kin, really. Being hired by me to kill their own men, and it's awful. But they, they, I think this, this, this guilt's kicking in now with them, that's why they keep hanging back. <laughs> right. Go, 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 go. Why are you running away, you cowards? Come and fight me! Okay, go on the back here. The fact is, the morale is so poor now because you know, you know it's all over. They're going to fall so quickly. Yeah, they're wavering. It's all gone. Yeah, that's it. Game over. Victory. Close victory. Probably is the right thing to say there. Yeah, we lost 609 men, but hey. We took the opportunity when we did, when we could. We've, we've, we've taken it. We've got it. We've got the city of Alia, and that should be the start of the downfall of uh, the Etruscan League now, because they should be without a settlement at all now. So thank God we took it while we did. I don't think if we waited any longer, it would have been so easy. So let's uh, occupy peacefully. So they're now suffering from attrition in the scene. Hopefully, with that fleet of the Romans there, they should be able to take them out uh, during the end turn phase, I hope. So let's get rid of these mercenaries now. Goodbye mercenaries, thank you for your time. And, uh, okay, we need to convert these, do we, of course. And we'll do that next turn. We need to probably get some, uh, yeah, some temple there to help with our cultural differences. So, Rome. Are you happy with this now? There's a war with the Etruscan League. Yeah, you're really happy with this Your now. Come on. Goes you. He still don't want trade. Amazing. Defensive alliance? No. What do we have to do to get you on our side? Sacrifice a hundred bulls or what? You I mean, really? Welcome. Come on. Okay. Well, we can't do anything else this turn, so we may as well end it here. I want to sign skill for our general, of course. At your command. We'll give him the, uh, what's he actually? We'll just make sure we've got a bit of variation here. He's a commander, so we'll give him the uh, strategy dish one. And we may as well give him the household while we've got him. There you go, Rome. I'm finishing them off now. They've taken out one of their fleets. They've only got one left. And it looks like Rome have got some decent armies they're building up now. So we want to have them on our side. We can't be, be in war with them now. So I think that's our last remaining fleet of the Etruscan League there. They've taken Velathri and Arminium, so they're now taking the north part of Italy. Um, or the northern part of the peninsula part. Military settlement is research complete. Oh, hello. Political intrigue is developed. An assassination attempt. Oh, balls. Damn you. Oh, noble lancers. They look pretty badass, don't they? Yeah, we'll go for one of them. Uh, these are our guys, aren't they? The Council of the 600, I'm sure they are. We'll go for that unit, and we'll go for that general. Yeah, trouble populous is the problem now. We could have rebellions up on uh, on our sleeves here, because we could have rebellions on our hands, I should say. So yes, that is our general, and it was the uh, right family to go for, the Council of the 600, or the right... Uh, 
party. So we'll secure promotion for him, actually. Oh, we can make sure the all oh, the influence is 71%. Let's keep it there. We don't want to do any more, more than that. So yeah, that's that's enough now. Uh, research is good, so we'll go for that one now. Hellenization, which will is it going to give us some cultural influence help? A with our conversion. No, it doesn't actually. But it gives us hoplite -like barracks. Uh, right. Okay. So. We need to raise another general here. Can we raise another general? We can, we can, we can, we can. We'll go for one of the opposing factions, or sorry, one of the opposing parties' generals to try and balance it out a little bit here. So we'll go for that one. Go for a unit of uh, noble infantry. I think that's Champlou's gold unit mob pack, who's. Um, who's got those units implement, implemented into this game now because they weren't there before so I think that's Champlou's uh, mod kicking in with those units that's good um, right so yes that's all fine and dandy there that's going to probably as I say have a rebellion unfortunately in a couple of turns but we'll try and face them off and push it down when we can and obviously once we've got the money we'll start to convert these buildings over to our side as well here we will at Genoa can't at the moment but public order is fine there it's neutral down there as well now but it's only here at Alia that we need to uh, sort it out but uh, I'm going to wrap it up here guys because nothing else we, we can do this this turn or this episode so we'll be back with part four very soon in that part we'll try and reconsolidate just get everything back to full strength make sure any public order is ironed out or any public order problems are ironed out and then we'll move on obviously I think next we'll go for the Iverni to the north and then these sort of tribal areas over here um, because obviously we don't want to go to war with these guys no matter what we probably go south as well and try and take on Carthage maybe but who knows we don't, we don't want to spread ourselves too thin that's the main thing anyway guys if you've enjoyed this episode please drop a like and always remember to comment rate, and subscribe hook me up on the usual Facebook Twitter and my Steam group and as well as I said to you in a few of my videos recently previous episodes of all my um, videos are in the description so with this one part two will be in the description so you can go onto there and if you haven't missed if you've missed or you missed Cilia's part two go onto there and watch that part back as well if you want to the link is in the description so thanks guys for watching but until next time this is warrior spotter for now saying farewell